Okay, so today we're going to be having a quick look at this brand new 18 millimeter 1.4 lens, which is somewhere in this bag. And actually, before I get into the lens, I should note, someone sent me this bag and most things that I get offered on YouTube, I just say no to, get all kinds of emails and requests and things. But if something actually makes sense for my channel, makes sense for you, then I take it and yeah, give it a go. So <laughs> this bag, I think, it's, I think they're called KNF Concepts, I think. They sent me this bag, which is just incredible. Okay, so look, we've got space in here, which has got another bag, and you've always got to love a bag within a bag. And uh, so in here, I've got a couple of camera, I've got the lens, here it is, look, Fujifilm sent this for uh, me to review. This is the 18mm 1.4, I have to say, Sounds good. So in a minute we'll get into that. But look, 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 bag in a bag. Another, oh, goodies in there. Um, so I guess when I go abroad, it'd be good for passports, wallet, that kind of thing. Then there's another one in here somewhere, <laughs> if I can get into it. Yes, look, we've got drone in here, another camera in here, space. So I guess this would be like space for clothes when I go abroad and then drone with the clothes. And then we've got space for cameras. And then there's all kinds of other space for laptops down here. Look, in here, my laptop space. I've got tea. There's just space everywhere. Stuff here, tripod can go down the side. Great back support. So I've got to say, this will be my first time trying this bag. If it's good, then we'll be able to highly recommend it. So I'll link it below. Um, I'll find out who actually made it. <laughs> I'll find out where it is and what it costs and I'll put it below and if you're interested, go and check it out. Oh, let's get the lens out. And by the way, look, look who's with me. Remember Matt? Hi yes. guys. So Matt's coming with me to lens, test out lens. this thing here. You take that and I'll... Um... What we're gonna do, Matt and I have both got the XE4 and I'm gonna use 23mm 1.4. Matt's gonna shoot the new 18mm 1.4. And this can be the kind of, how good is a 1.4s today? So I love this lens, a bit legendary, the 23 mil. And uh, yeah, this one weighs 370 grams. So it is light. Um, and apparently super duper sharp, incredible lens. But yeah, Matt's gonna take this one. So uh, Matt can put this on. And on. he's got a fancy thing on the, his camera, look. What's fancy? This here, look, this is fancy. Yeah, it's not fancy, very practical. Fancy but it looks great. Yeah. But what's it like so far? Yeah, it's, nice. it's the first time I've had anything but the lens that I bought with the X-E4. Oh, really? So yeah, it's really nice to have another lens on it. And the only it's one big. I've used so far is the pancake. So yeah, this is, this is much that. bigger. It looks like a beast. Look at this. Compare that to the, yeah, that's a bigger, it's bigger than the 23. Yeah. All right, let's try and get in here. So it's got a linear motor. And the only thing I don't know is whether you have to manually change the linear motor setting. Okay. So I'm gonna check that. So linear motor makes it better for manual yeah. focusing, doesn't it? So it doesn't automatically change the setting. So you have to change okay. to linear motor settings. And that means now you can actually physically mark on your lens That's right. where you are manually focusing. Yeah. That's quite useful. Apparently it's got super fast autofocus which that will be useful to know. It's weather sealed. Sounds nice. I guess that's the camera that sounds yeah. nice. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Right, so we're gonna, basically we're gonna have a walk through the forest, have a cup of tea. We're gonna get some shots. This is, a, this is the highest point in the South Downs. If you live in England and you come to the South Downs, Black Down is the highest point. And uh, we happen to live five minutes from it, which is quite handy. <laughs> surrounded by life no. that juxtaposition of life and death show us the picture you see that? oh yeah lovely amazing you know
I need to ask you, what do, what do you do with um, the less polite comments? On YouTube? On YouTube. Well, <laughs> no. uh, most of you are really nice. And so, you know, thank you for that. I don't get a lot of abuse. But some, some of you do get very passionate about your cameras. <laughs> I'm passionate about my cameras. But I'm yeah, passionate. you do get a few people who are, shall I say, slightly upset if I <laughs> mention something. I remember, <laughs> I remember I did that review between the um, X-Trans sensor and the Bayer sensor. I think yeah. I used the XA5. And uh, I remember someone almost shouting at me as he wrote, you don't understand this camera. <laughs> I was like, well, okay, fine. But um, yeah, most people will take it in good, in good heart. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you're a good audience to have. And uh, yeah, while we're talking about audience, come and join my Patreon channel. You know, if you've got questions for me, and I don't really get to answer a lot of the questions on, on the YouTube channel, because there's just so many, and I'd spend all day having to type. But if you do want to chat with me, I want to keep up with my work. Oh, it's nice here, look. If you want any of that, then come and join the Patreon because um, there you've got your own direct way to message me and chat with other people and also keep up with what I'm doing business-wise and um, landscape photography-wise, my book, everything else. So yeah, come and join that. Click on the, on the link below. Right. This would be good for a shot, wouldn't it? I've been here at sunset and it's gorgeous sunsets just over there. Really? But um, even now, there'll be something here. Let's get some shots. So what's your thoughts so far on this 18? It's good, yeah, I'm not used to, well, two things, getting used to 1.4, because I've only had a 2.8 on here Yeah. before, using 1.4 and also just that wider field of view, it's great. But I when think, you bear in mind that that costs 879 pounds, <laughs> which is basically, thanks Fuji, Should that's we, cheaper be careful. than the XC4. I mean, that's more expensive than the XE4. That's the XE4, I got mine for 770. Yeah. As a body. Mine was a bit more with the lens. Yeah. But if you think that, that's like, that costs more than your camera. <laughs> is, it good, is it good for that, do you think? Like, I mean, I know, I know really when, when you're comparing buying these, buying Fujifilm, it just always seems cheaper than buying Canon or Sony, doesn't it? Like, it's a fraction of the cost. So I always get a little bit like, yeah, it's so cheap, let's buy two or three. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm used to spending, like, I remember when I bought my 5DSR and a lens with it, it cost me seven grand. Yeah. And so well, buying I'm, these, it just seems really cheap, doesn't it? When you're spending one and a half grand on a, on a lens and a camera. Yeah, well, I guess the equivalent, I mean, we're, I'm looking at a, getting the 35 1.4 mm. uh, E-mount for my Sony, and that's 1400. Wow. I mean, it's great. It's a great lens. It's good, good for filming as well. Yeah. But I mean, that's, you know, that's, yeah. mm. that's a lot of money. A lot of money, which is why I haven't bought it yet. <clears throat> so how's that focusing? Is it quick focus? It's really quick. Yeah, it is really quick. So mm. let's focus on you. Yeah, that's quick. That's quick. And so exp explain this linear, linear focusing for us. Which is what there's a, li a linear system in that, isn't there? Yeah, so that it's a linear focus. Essentially, it makes it, uh, it kind of it's about making your focus ring absolute rather than relative, and okay. means you can set points uh, for focus. It's good for filming, particularly for filming. You can set your focus points between two points, and you know, you know, the way we do it is just a bit of tape put a bit of tape on, put a mark there, mark there, and then you can move between the two. So using linear focus means, you know, you can accurately move from one point to another in focus. Um, yeah, so it's, 
Yeah, I mean, that's where we use it, particularly in filming. That's how we would use. Yeah. That's why we'd use linear focus motors, just okay. to make sure. Yeah. And you change that in the settings of the XC4? Yeah, you? so you have to, yeah, let's say you, you manually change that. Okay. So I don't know, I mean, and this one must have defaulted. I had to change it, so I guess I guess the camera comes defaulted as non-linear, so. Can you hear it? Is that, is that a noise? That's the focus noise, yeah. Can you hear it on my... Huh. Okay. It's wearing away. Yeah, so that's not, I guess it's not silent, but I mean, there are... I, mean, I don't think that would be too distracting. I, mean, no, I guess it's the this, I guess it's the kind of lens you're going to use if you're vlogging. It would be a good vlogging but lens. But wouldn't that make a noise? But it's well, I guess that then. But you'll be like, we've got our microphones. Exactly, and you're never going to take your audio from here unless you no. unless you're using a an on-camera mic. Yeah. yeah. But then, if you're using an on-camera mic, this is the thing about the XC4. It kind of yeah. It's going to block there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess you'd have to you'd have to mount a mic on there and see if see how much of the focus you could hit. Yeah. So I mean, look at the size as well. So we take take off this here. So it is slightly that, bigger, isn't it? It's a bit bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Than the uh, twenty three. I love this twenty three though. It's one of those lenses that's I could never sell. There's something so good about about shooting with it. It's just a I don't know what it is. There's just something so amazing about the. Um, the shots that come out of it. And I was wondering whether that's going to be the same with this 18. Because obviously I, I had the 18 Pancake mm -hmm. F2, which, you know, it was a good lens, a great lens. I reviewed it and I loved it. And actually at the time I was, you know, I was really, because there were so many bad reviews about that lens. About the, about the... The 18 Pancake. Okay. And that's generally what, what makes me buy something. <laughs> when there's loads of people saying it's rubbish, I always think... Just it, bloody minded. Yeah, it can't be rubbish. <laughs> um, and so I bought that. And actually, I was really impressed with it because I was expecting it to be so bad. Yeah. But actually, it wasn't. Um, and in the end, I only sold it because I was uh, just buying some other gear. But um, it didn't replace my 23mm. There was something about the 23mm that just... I know it's a different focal length, but it, you know, it's not too far off. Mm -hmm. That I just love this 1.4. But um, I wonder whether this 18 mil is going to end up being similar to this mm. in that, you know, 1.4, is you can go into such low light. And if it does have that sharp miss and that clarity to it. Yeah. Right. So this has got some, I think it's got some macro ability, isn't it? This. This, cam this lens. So, that's what I'm trying out so, now. So, let's have a look and see what you do. I think from what I read, it you can focus up to about 20 centimeters, which obviously isn't like full macro, but that's... Um, I mean, I'm getting... You're getting pretty close, aren't you? Yeah, that's fine. I think it's one to five ratio, which is quite good. I mean, I tested out a macro lens the other day and that was um, one to one, which is obviously lovely. Yeah. But one to five is good. So you had a couple of hours shooting with this. Would you would you buy it? Would you use it? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I really do. Um, yeah, I love it. It just feels. I, I always think. You know, you pick up a new camera, you pick up a new lens, and you can kind of judge how. You know, you, I always think that you pick up a new camera. And at first, all the photos just look like someone else's, or they look like everyone else's. Yeah, yeah. You know, they don't look like yours. And not to say that your like my photos are any better than anyone else's. They're just they're just mine. And just, I know yeah. when I see them, I know that I took it. And, yeah. And I just think also when you use new lenses as well, it's just that that time it takes for them to look like yours. Yeah. This was quick. This was really quick. That was an instant yeah. love. Yeah. I mean, the one point four yeah. is good, isn't it? So you can get those lovely bokeh looking yeah. backgrounds and. Yeah, actually, it's really good. The macro is really good on it. I mean, I'd have to look. I mean, you know, I haven't seen on a big screen. I don't know what they look like, um, detailed, close up. But it's really easy to use. I love. I, I mean, I know it's. I know it's not unique to this lens, but just the the aperture ring is just. Yeah. For Should me, we hear that again? I do like the sound of these things. Let's hear the aperture ring. All right. All right. I don't on my mic. It has an aperture lock on it as well, so you go into full auto mode by locking it in there. That's nice. Yeah, which is the same as the uh, 27 I have.
click sound do you have for your um, XC4? Do we use it? Yeah, I thought it's, just the, it's just them. No, you can choose your sound. There are three sounds to choose from. Are they ready? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was only on the um, electronic. Shutter. Oh, is it only on that? I think so. I like the sound. Yeah, it's, it's one of the other things about. I mean, I like the. I, I like the X100F, but it's so quiet. Sometimes you don't know if you've actually taken a shot. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, kind of, you kind of miss that you expect it to make a sound, and and um, as great as that camera is, I have to be honest, the the electronic shutter sounds aren't. They're a bit fake, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like I know. Doesn't fill you with confidence, really. No. Right, I'm Go gonna on. I'm gonna fight this drone. <laughs>